Hey there. I told you I'd do another video um, this week. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that to you. Who likes to, um, who likes to fidget with stuff during their meetings? Do you? I, I, I find myself always fidgeting uh, with stuff during meetings and, and I'm going to full disclosure. I have three things I typically fidget with. Uh, and I'm not even sure what one of them is. <laughs> one is this stupid little magnet. Uh, my desk is magnetic and I just find myself just like sticking it to the desk and pulling it off and twirling it around on my fingers and then stick it in again. Uh, I don't know why I do that. It just, I don't know if it's nervousness or tension or anxiety. I don't really know why I do it. I'm not, I'm hardly ever nervous during, during a meeting. So I'm not sure why I do it. The second thing I do, this came off. Uh, ah, I just dropped it. This came off. Um, like a tripod for a camera, right? And it's, uh, you know, you slide the, the thing on the uh, on, on the tripod and then you connect your phone or camera to it and then you, you screw it tight on there. Uh, and and I don't know why, I just, for some reason, I, I like to spin these little um, screws and nuts together. And sometimes I put, I even put the, the magnet between it and, and tighten it down. I don't, I don't know why I do that. And then finally, um, my wife sees that I'm doing this and she's like, what kind of ghetto level stuff is, are you using here? I, so she bought me this, uh, this thing off of Amazon. Um, it's like a professional fidget thing. I don't, I don't know what it really it's called, but it's, uh, first of all, it's shiny gold. <laughs> like it's super important, but it's got like a little joystick on it. Um, it's got this, uh, little thing you spin on it. It's got these gears, um, this, this toggle switch and I, 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 so I'm going to try, I haven't tried it yet. So this is the first time I've had it. I just got it yesterday and, and she gave it to me and she's like, now look at that professional level gizmo thing. So if you see what I me mean, with this in videos, you, you know, it's just me fidgeting. Why do people do that? I don't remember fidget spinners were a thing for a while. I'm, anyway, so I just want, I, am I the only one? I don't, I don't think so. Oh, I got like a spot on my face. Um, I don't think so because they sell them on Amazon. Um, so I must not be the only, the only one happy Friday or whenever you're watching this, um, video, I appreciate your time. Uh, sometimes I have important things to say, or at least I think they are. <laughs> sometimes they're not, uh, this is probably in the category of, of not, um, but on the more important things, uh, I get asked a lot during during my videos. Hey, what what are you using uh, to to make your videos uh, look good, or how do you uh, improve the quality of of your videos? And, and and let's go over that today. Let's kind of go through some of the tips and tricks that I use to make my video as 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 highest quality as possible um, and make me look presentable because I need all the help I can get. <laughs> My beard's looking trim today. Look at that. Um, hey, did you see this? I, got, I went to Colorado last week. I think I told you yesterday. Mile High City, Colorado. I got a. I got this great shirt. Um, uh, hometown, hometown hero. Uh, okay, let's get into it. Let's go. Um, where do I even start? Okay, first, first, let's just. I'm going to open up a, an Amazon page, and here we go. All the stuff you can buy on Amazon. First of all. The quality of your video is more important than you think it is. Um, and and I, I've, I've been in meetings with CEO level executives um, that have really poor quality video. And if they just put a little time and a little bit of effort into it, you could, you could drastically improve it. And it doesn't have to break the bank. Obviously, you get what you pay for. Um, and most of us are probably on a laptop. Or, or a Mac, uh, Lenovo, Dell, whatever. It doesn't really matter. And most everyone, I would guess, I don't know this for a, for a fact. But I'm guessing most every laptop nowadays probably has a camera on it. Probably has a mic on it. And probably has a speaker on it, right? That's probably a, a good assumption. Well, they all suck. <laughs> it's a problem. Do they work? Yeah, they work. But they're not good. They're not good quality. And people that are listening to you and you're, if you're presenting with that level of quality, you're getting exactly 
uh, what you think you're getting. And everyone in attendance watching you and listening to you and, and collaborating with you um, sees that. And, and how do we improve that? Well, let's, so let's go through all the things that I have and, and, and all the things that, that I use and implement today. And these are things that I use that are not bank breakers, right? Uh, and, I'll, and I'll go into it in a little bit of what, uh, what, what's high and what's low level. The lowest level, as you already guessed, is your laptop. Don't use it if you can help it. I mean, I get if you're at an airport or, uh, you know, you're on the road and you don't have access to all your hardware, makes perfect sense. Then utilize the camera, mic, and speakers built in. That's as good as you're going to get. But if you're at home, put some effort into your your layout, especially if you're doing this professionally, right? And and I'm I'm obviously a, I wouldn't call it a professional, <laughs> but I present a lot, right? And And you guys probably do too. And and, and so one of the things or three of the things that we can talk about video quality, sound quality, speakers and mic quality. Here are the three things I use. First of all, let's let's uh, decrease this the size of this thing here uh, as much as I hate to make myself smaller. I'm going to. All right. OK, the first thing I use for my mic, this is the mic I use. This is the mic I use every day. You've seen me use this boom mic for probably years, actually. And um, I got it on Amazon. I got it on Amazon, and it was it's today, it's 19% off. I don't know what it is tomorrow or what it was yesterday, but today it's 49 bucks. I think I paid 63. And this is um, a couple of years old, honestly. Um, probably three years old, this, this mic. And I love it, and I get compliments on the sound quality all the time. So it must work well. I don't listen to myself. Uh, I don't attend meetings of watching myself. So I have to take the word for from the attendees. And and this is really an easy setup. It's, it's plug and play. It's USB quality. I mean, USB plugs in with USB powered by USB. Um, it comes with a, a, a shield. I, I actually use it for a while, but it, it takes away a big part of um, the, the video. So I actually took it off, but you have a windshield and all that stuff. And it's $49. It is a drastic improvement in the quality of your audio. The only problem being, uh, if, if you have that problem, is that it is it is in the way, right? You have to talk right into it. But, you know, that's kind of my stick, right? That might be not be yours, um, but you can get microphones that are more proximity-based um, if that's what you choose. But this is what I choose today. And, and now this is obviously entry level. This is um, forty nine dollars. They go up to hundreds, probably thousands of dollars per for professional microphones. If, if you're a professional, then get one. <laughs> if not, then get this one. Right? There's there's Blue Yetis. There's all kinds of uh, of microphones, and even the Blue Yetis are around three hundred dollars, I, I think, uh, in price range. But this one's forty nine, and this one works for me. So that's the first thing. The first thing I use the this this microphone. Second thing I use, this light ring. This is uh, $112. Now, do you need one this big? No, you don't have to use lighting at all. But again, you get what you pay for. I happen to do this for a living, so I get the best. I, this is not even the best. There's, again, hundreds and thousands of dollar lighting systems out there. But this one works for me. This one's 112 bucks. I think I actually paid 100 for it uh, last year uh, on this. It's got a little dial so I can adjust the lighting. I can actually take off the, the white paneling that's around it and, and put orange on it if I want a, a warmer look. I like I actually use the, the white one uh, as opposed to the orange one. Uh, I, I have a case for it. I don't ever use it. I've, I, I obviously have it on a tripod in front of my, uh, my, my desk and it's actually behind my monitor. So it actually shines right on me from directly in front of me. And that's important too. You don't want to create a lot of shadowing effects by having it at different angles. And I've actually seen people who uh, have two of these and, and have them at a cross angle. I just have one straight ahead of me. It's literally super bright. You can adjust it. I don't even adjust it all the way up. I, it blinds me actually to a degree if I, if I look right at it, but, um, this is what I use for lighting and this is super critical and it comes with a bunch of stuff. I don't use any of it. I just use the light part, right? And, and this allows me to, to really, uh, l change the way uh, my layout is because uh, my office is in a basement. So it's rather dark in here. I don't have a lot of natural lighting. So I actually have to, to, uh, add 
add additional lighting and, and you should too. You don't have to get one this big. They have $50 ones that probably work just as well, but this is the one, this is the one I chose. So lighting, super important to your video quality. Um, I implore you to, again, if you do this for a living, uh, if you do, if you're a presenter or you present uh, uh, to your colleagues and coworkers, please invest in some lighting. To, it really, it's probably the biggest difference, honestly, of your video quality. Uh, people don't understand um, the level, and I'm not a professional photographer or videographer by any means, but I, but if I turn this light off, it's a drastically uh, lower quality. So I, I, I employ this one as, as my uh, needs. Third thing. This is the camera I use. This is the Logitech Brio camera. And what that allows me to do, obviously it's a four, it's a 4K, yeah, 4K camera. And I utilize this because it's very compact. You can travel with it. It's very small. It just it just up and down. And it goes again, USB right on right on it plugs right into your machine i actually have a mac with a docking station so i have i, I run out of usb ports but this is the logitech brio camera i have now can you go up of course you can go full uh dslr level cameras that are in the seven eight nine thousands and thousands of dollars again you get what you pay for utilizing your your laptop camera uh pretty bad quality it's not uh, not the the highest quality and you're not in your your attendees and participants in your meeting are going to see a drastic difference i am not a sponsor of, of logitech or uh of logitech brio by any means i certainly um am utilizing uh, this because i i think i got it free <laughs> uh years ago when i actually worked for microsoft i think uh, logitech sent it to me to try out and i've been using it ever since i actually have another logitech 925 uh, that i use for other things i again i'm not a sponsored by logitech by any means there's there's several other camera makers and i'm sure they're just as good this is just happens to be the one i use so invest in a good camera uh you don't need anything crazy out there um to have high quality video, I use this. And in addition to this, I actually use a software I talked about before, is I use what they call uh, the webcam settings. Uh, it's called webcam, it's, it's an app on uh, the Mac store. Uh, you can actually go there and just go to the uh, Mac store. It's the Apple store. And you can see uh, right here, it is. If you go to, I don't even, Macteris blog, I don't even know what that is. It's right here. It's uh, right. Macteris.blogspot.com. It's $7. It's the best $7 you'll ever, ever spend. Um, and I've talked to Logitech about this and they do, they have a fine Logitune uh, settings um, application that comes with the Logitech camera. It's really, really good. I just need a couple of more advanced settings. I needed to have uh, advanced profiles set up here for, for additional cameras. And I can do that with, with webcam. So I actually spent the, the $7 and, and purchased that. I can utilize that to, to, to change the, the, the focus and, and zoom and pan until again, Logitech tune can do this. And I'm sure every manufacturer of a camera has built in software. I just happen to like this one. This is just my preference. Uh, and, and the best $7 I've probably ever spent next. So we gone over, Oh yeah, here's the next one. Watch this one. Uh, razor Leviathan, I think razor Leviathan for my speaker. I actually use the Razer Leviathan and here it is right here. Um, boom, right there. I don't remember how much I spent on it. Honestly, it says it's $200 right here. Again, this is a, a speaker that has, that sits under my, under my, uh, displays. And then I actually have a subwoofer with it as well. Your attendees and, and participants in your meeting aren't going to notice that you have a speaker, of course. That's all for your preference. And if you want to use, utilize your uh, speakers in your laptop, knock yourself out. I just happened out when I'm attending a lot of meetings. That's obviously what I do all the time. Uh, I like to hear uh, a higher quality sound. So I spent the $200. This actually connects. I don't know how it connects. Uh, if there's different methodologies of connecting, I happen to connect it using Bluetooth. And Bluetooth, I Bluetooth it right to my Mac. And then it allows me to have high fidelity sound during my meetings. I don't listen to music uh, typically, obviously, during the day because I'm in meetings. Uh, I typically are only listening to, to, to my audience and my presenters and attendees. 
Uh, so I guess it could be used for gaming and music and all that stuff. I don't use it for any of that. So I don't know how it performs. Oh, look at that. I purchased it on April 10th, 2020. Right after I started at Zoom, I started in March. So I start. I, I bought it uh, um, a month after. So this is what I use uh, for my sound. So now we've covered three different things. We've covered video from a camera perspective. We covered mic, obviously from a microphone perspective. And now we've covered the sound uh, from a speaker perspective. Those are the three hardware choices that I have. Are there tons of other ones? Yes. Are they great? Probably. Uh, have I used them? No. <laughs> this is this is just what I what, what I utilize. The other thing that I utilize a lot too is when I'm walking around my office, I utilize a, a program called Epoch Cam. And, and what this allows me to do is use my iPhone as a camera. And so sometimes when I've, I showcase uh, maybe walking over to my, my Zoom room or walking over to my Microsoft Teams room, and by the way, all these tips and tricks that I'm giving you are agnostic of what platform you utilize. So if you utilize Zoom for your, your video UCAS needs, works great. Obviously, uh, maybe not obviously. Uh, if you don't know, I, I am a full-time employee of Zoom. Uh, I am not a spokesman for Zoom. Uh, I am not a figurehead for Zoom. I just happen to showcase a lot of cool stuff. And a lot of times that deals with Zoom. None of these things are, are Zoom qualified, hardware certified stuff, recommended. They're just what I use. You can use anything you'd, you'd like. It works for Teams too. It works for WebEx too. If you happen to uh, have to have to be forced to use WebEx, no. <laughs> Ring Central eight by eight. Pick one. Go to meeting. I don't care. Doesn't really matter. Uh, it works great on Zoom. Next, so I use Epoch Cam, right? And so it, what happens is you install it on, on your phone, and then you connect your phone to the same Wi-Fi network. Um, that your your computer is on, and then your the Epoch software actually finds uh, your camera on uh, on on your network, and then you can use that as a choice. So if you see uh, my video, you can see I have several choices of video. Uh, one of them, obviously, is the Epoch Cam, and so when I choose Epoch Cam, and I'm not going to do it right now. I then switch this Zoom camera, this Zoom meeting camera to my mobile, and then I can use my mobile as my camera, but I can also, that allows me to be mobile around my office and then I can showcase different things by, by just showing it with my camera that I can't do it with the Logitech Brio, obviously. So Epoch Cam, I honestly don't know what I paid for it. It says it's free. Uh, I, 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 I would have, it, it might, I don't know. It says it's free. I don't, I, the app is available only in the app store. I don't remember how much I paid for it. It's, uh, it's probably something I could probably should have uh, looked up before <laughs> this meeting. I'm sure you'll tell me. I'm sure you'll tell me. Okay. So that's the fourth thing I use. And then finally, uh, I, I have a, a, my former boss, by the way, is now working at zoom as well. Uh, when I worked at, uh, another company, uh, years ago, I, um, Tom Pasek was, uh, I'm about to sneeze. What's called? He has an amazing uh, page that he goes into detail of what he utilizes. And I implore you to actually look. It's called confusedamused.com. What he goes into, Tom really goes into way deeper technically than I just did and, and details exactly his setup and camera lighting and microphone, kind of like what we just reviewed today. He actually uses a, a Sony uh, ZV-1, which is a, a DSLR camera, and, and he actually has a very high quality picture. Every time I'm on a meeting with him, I'm always impressed with the level of, of, of picture and of, of, of his quality. But he utilizes, he goes really in, deep into his setup as well. So those are just some of the tricks and tips that I, that I typically uh, implore in my day-to-day my day-to-day -day Zoom meetings. Um, I hope you got something out of that. I uh, it's just a, a simple tips and tricks that I I did. I just I winged it. If you can't tell, I'm I'm stumbling a little bit, and maybe that's just because I'm excited because it's it's the weekend. Uh, but simple stuff, right? Hey, if you have any any tips and tricks that you can give me, believe me, I am I'm more than willing to to listen. I I always am up for improving the quality, and maybe one day. Uh, my quality of camera and setup will be as as good as Tom's, right? All right, enjoy. Happy happy Friday.